want to show you how to do some date calculations on the HP B2 Plus uh, financial calculator. So it does several of these date calculations and it may sort of seem silly at first but there can be real value you know today could be um, June 15th and suppose the um, the fiscal quarter closes on September 30th and you'd like to know how many days that is and without actually counting them up yourself you can let the financial calculator do that or suppose it's uh, March 15th and you happen to have an option that's going to expire on October 3rd and you want to know how many days that is so that you can use the Black-Scholes option pricing model. So there are um, several keys here that you can use and actually they're the same two keys here one will be the shift up blue and one will be the shift down red and it's the input key and the MU key. So the first one here is this D.MY slash M.DY that's the calendar format so do you want to put in the day and then you put a dot in and then you type in the month and the year or do you want to put in the month and then a dot and then the day and the year now here in the United States we tend to use month day year although in other parts of uh, the world they use day month year so if you don't see anything down here there's no enunciator as they refer to it then you have the month day year format if you want to toggle back and forth you just hit this blue um, shift key and you'll see here um, D dot M Y so what you've done is you've changed it to the day month year format now I want to use the uh, month day year format because that's the one I'm most familiar with so I'm going to toggle it back you can also toggle back between a 360 day year or a 365 day year that's what ACT stands for actual um, and again you do the same thing to toggle right here it's over the MU key if it says 360 then you're using a 360 day year if you don't see anything it's the actual or the 365 then there's the date which is the red shift key and the input key and that calculates the date and day past or future that is given uh, a given number of days from a given date and you always use a it always uses a 365 day calendar and then finally there's delta date or you know this triangle date which is below the MU key so the shift the red shift and the MU key calculates the number of days between two dates based on the setting um, uh, whether you use 360 or a 365 day year so let, let's take a look at a, a couple of examples here so let's find the date that is a hundred days from January 1st um, 2021 so here's how you have to put it in so you put in the month one and then you hit the dot and now it knows that you're going to be putting in the um, day and the uh, year so you're gonna put in 01 2021 and we're going to put in the date and then we can type in 100 equals and it tells us it's April 11th 2021 and this number here tells us what actual day it is and the way this works is number one stands for Monday number seven stands for Sunday so this is going to be Sunday April 11th 2021 let's try to find the date that is 100 days before January 1st 2021 so again let's put that in 1.01 1 2021 and again we put in the downshift and hit the date key and then we can put in 100 and just change it to 
a negative 100 and hit equals and we find out that was September 23rd of 2020 and that happens to be um, Wednesday right Monday is uh, 1 Tuesday is 2 so Wednesday is 3 and then finally let's calculate the number of days between two dates January 1st 2021 and September 15th 2021 so here we're going to type in 1.01 I'm sorry let me let me redo that I have January 1st I want June 1st so 06.01 2021 we hit this shift key and we want the change in days and then you type in this new calculation here which would be um, or this new date 9.15.2021 and let's hit equals and we get 106 days between those two dates so it's going to be kind of handy for doing certain kinds of calculations you need to know when the fiscal year closes or you want to know how many days it is until Christmas or your birthday or your retirement um, but can be quite useful in calculating the number of days if you're doing a calculation for example with the Black-Scholes option pricing model.